First of all, thank you very much for clicking on this video. And welcome to a mini series I like to call Road to Five Star Week Foot. Using specific drills and training every single day for one week, we're going to be trying to improve my week foot over the course of the next week. So that means training every single day intensely to improve that week foot. And if you're wondering how you improve your week foot using specific drills, etc., etc., this is the series for you. What's up guys, it's Hasman12 and welcome back to another football experiment. Today, we're going to be doing a road to five star weak foot. <laughs> Let's be honest, I'm never going to get to a five star weak foot, but it's just sort of the idea. You get what I mean. We're going to try and improve our weak foot over the course of the next week. And if you're into all the specific drills you need to do to improve your weak foot and all that stuff, make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss the next few episodes because those are the episodes you don't want to miss. But this episode is slightly different to the other football experiments because it's split up into three different episodes. Today is the first episode and we're going to be setting the bar just to determine how good my week foot actually is by doing three different football challenges, keepy uppies, um, bin shots and then the last one is just stand shooting. And then the next episode, which will be airing sometime next week, either Monday or Friday, not sure yet. Um, that episode will be our journey through the week and how well, what we've done to try and improve our week foot. And the third and final episode of this sort of series within a series is the final day and just to see what progression we've made. So the drills we're doing this episode, we'll do on the final episode and we'll see the difference between the two to measure the total progression. And also, if you would prefer the football experiments to be split up into three episodes like this one, please leave a like so that I do know. No more talking, let's get on with the first day to determine how good my week foot actually is. I also forgot to mention, this video idea was actually brought to you by this guy in the comments. So yeah, shout out to you, and without you, I wouldn't have thought it. So, thank you very much. Okay, so the first test we're going to do is how long does it take me to do 100 keepy uppies? And basically, if I if I do a keepy uppie and drop it, I then just start again. But the timer's obviously still going. So yeah, first test, let's go. Starting the timer now. This feels very strange. Very, very strange. Oh, it's actually quite tiring. I must look so odd. <laughs> oh, it's such a hot. <laughs> oh, I can't even flick it up. Five, seven. One more, there we go. Right, this is our time. So our time is 3.36. It's a time for 100 keepy ups. So that is the bar. Really? I actually missed. So the next test is the bin shot test. Basically, I'm gonna be taking 50 bin shots and it's just how many I get in, obviously with my left foot. And if you're familiar with the channel, you would know this classic Hasman 12 bin shot setup. So let's go on with it. How many do you think I'm gonna get? Vote in the card. Not gonna lie, I genuinely think I'm gonna get zero. First try. Ah, oh, it's gonna be painful. Right, so I've done 10, got zero, obviously. Uh, just having a thought. You might be sat there thinking, oh, Harry, you can just fake it and just pretend your weak foot's really bad so you look like you have greater progression. <laughs> you can think that if you want, but genuinely, my weak foot is this bad. Surely I can get one. It's surely one. No. Oh, it's just annoying. Yes. Oh, yes, you got one. Yeah. Right, we've got two more balls. Um... That is all I need to say. Go on. Oh, I don't know if I'm happy with that. 
that makes it harder at the end of the week to try and improve. It is what it is. Two out of 50. Third and final test we're going to be doing is using these cones. So we're going to be taking two of these and putting them in either corner of the goal, but obviously with a little bit of gap from outside the post. So basically I start on that cone, I then dribble with the ball only using my left foot, I can't use my right foot. And then I dribble to that cone, I go to the left hand side of it and I shoot in either corner of the goal. And I get 10 attempts each, that's five. I get 10 attempts each, so I'll have 20 overall. So it's just out of that 20, how many do I get? So the first cone I'm going to be going for is the bottom right corner. Hope that makes sense. And let's go on with the first one. Watch this side there. Oh, no. This side there. Second attempt. I am the king, king, king. Oh! I am the king, king, king. It's probably a point out, but I don't get any extra points if it's a good goal. Right, fourth attempt, still nothing. Oh, the GoPro took a hit. Attempt six. Uh, what is that? Two out of seven, attempt number eight. Final attempt, uh, we've got two so far. I don't know if that was in the gap. I genuinely don't know if that counts. In my judgment, I was gonna say no. I don't think it was, but it might be. So I'm gonna count it as just two. Right, now moving on to the other side. And I'm feeling like this is gonna be worse because it is, it is a harder technique, especially with a weaker foot, to get on the, the inside rather than the outside post. Let's see what we get. bad. I got uh, two on the first one and one on the second, so that's three out of 20. But yeah, on to tomorrow, which is the first day of practice. Yeah, I did say I'll see you tomorrow, but that's before I decided all this splitting into three episodes thing. Likely you did enjoy it though. Subscribe if you are new. Shout out to the week goes to this guy. Thank you very much, and I'll see you later.